Well, undefeated here at the Royal Combat League is Carl Beck. A nice character, but shaping up against a very nice character as well in Mike Moxham from the Moncon Dam. It's JD versus Moncon Dam here. It's going to be another one of those fights. <laughs> you can't blink for a second. Under Pro-Am rules, and I love Pro-Am rules, I think they are setting you up to be an A-class fighter. The, seven, the Southern Area title as well on the, light, on, the, on the line. Light cruiserweight division. And Colbeck has delivered every time he's came here. But a very traditional gym in the opposite corner in the Moncon Dam, where Chris Rawlings is uh, associated with Sidiotong from Patea, Thailand. That's right. Colbeck right. landed straight down, and a good knee that gets thrown to the ground. Statement of intent from the beginning. There you go, great return there. As you can see, they've got the elbow pads on. Oh, this fight allowing Charlie. elbows. Yeah. I don't necessarily like it. Sometimes it can stop the blood. <laughs> but it sets them up to be professional fighters later on for oh. me. I just really enjoy seeing people using it gives the them art of eight limbs. <laughs> yeah, yep. Art of eight limbs, setting them up to be tie fighters. Good balance there, shown by Moxon. Oh, good jab and kick to the body there Moxon's looking strong and I think this is going to be the hardest test Beck has had so far no, very much so Moxon's kicking really well scoring very well just pushing Beck back to the ropes now Beck likes the long knee though you've got to be careful how you approach him oh, you don't want to be rushing in with someone like that turning for turning there in the corner good control knee for knee yeah just Cheeky little elbow there. They try an elbow, don't they, when they're belly to belly. Like, it's not going to really generate any power there. But sometimes it's more just for show. Yep. Moxon oh. pressing him back and a good right hand. And Beck's just working his opponent out at the moment and getting drilled back to the ropes. And yeah. it's a massive start for Mike Moxon from the Moncon Dam here. Not rushing in. Not rushing in either of them. Moxon's just standing in front of him, picking his shots. Beck looks a little bit messy for me compared to last time at the moment. Whether that's because Moxon's hitting him hard. <laughs> <laughs> looks like Carl Beck is just finding it a little bit difficult to get comfortable. He could struggle with his range there, didn't he, Charlie? Yeah, that, that's what I mean. He, he couldn't get comfortable with the shots. He's going backwards to get space, find himself on the ropes, and that's where... Moxon delivered some very hard punches and kicks there especially. Back Scoring to the ropes really well now. Beck likes the long knee though. You've got to be careful how you approach him. Oh, you don't want to be rushing in with someone like that. There as well. The knees were coming in from Moxon and Beck was struggling to really turn turning for turning in there in the corner. Him in the the corner. Knee for knee. Yeah, that is a very tricky little elbow there. They try an elbow, don't yeah. they, when they're belly to belly. They're not going to really generate any power there. Sometimes it's more just for show. Yep. Moxon pressing him back and a good right hand and Moxon's up first. Beck's just working his opponent out at the it's moment and getting by his, uh, back to the road. Yeah. Here. And uh, Chris is doing a great job, I've got to say, with his boys down there. He's got some good fighters coming out the gym now. 
Oh, there we go. Beck coming out, just walking forward, but unfortunately walking onto a few punches. Beck not looking comfortable, is he? No. Moxton looks more comfortable to watch, and he kept his balance very, very well there. Back in the clinch, working the knees again. Turning back inside out when he's there though and pushing him back to the ropes where he wants him but they're too tight to deliver knees. Moxon just finding his way to the centre of the ring and again the boxing's a lot sharper. Very much. Swelling just under the eye of Cole Beck now. Beck leans, back, leans his head back a little bit too much when the punches come in which exposes his chin and on the left side. Plant that low kick there as well. Go. Yeah. Yeah, you can't see it if your head's all the way back. Moxon's doing a number on Beck now. He's making it very uncomfortable for him. Now he's starting to go backwards as well, and he's finding shots on the back foot there's as that, well. There's that overhand right, I said. When he leans back, his left hand comes low. Moxon's going to knock him out here, I think. Beck is really in trouble. This is the hardest fight Beck's had from, by a mile here. It looks it. Oh, Moxon wore that knee though, very high. He ate that. Beck's a tough boy. He's taking everything and he's just standing there with his knees forward. usually with a long knee. We've not seen that today. I think it's the range that Moxon's delivered here today, Charlie. The punches can scare you from throwing a shot like that because you know you're going to be open for the punches. Yeah, for sure. Off balancing Beck as well when he tries to come forward, just kicking the inside of the leg. Catches the push kick and delivers on the kick himself. But Beck giving up ground all the time here, Charlie. Look, back just to going the right. backwards. Just yep. going backwards instead of standing his ground. Because, like yourself, Charlie, you, you're very much a counter fighter, I'd say yeah. so. But you don't give people ground. No. You, know, you, you don't go backwards. How, where's the difference between going backwards in a fight like this to the ropes and, or standing your ground when you're countering? Because you still have to wait for the shot, don't you? You either stand your ground or you move your angles. Now if you're moving to go back backwards as well, and he's shot. finding shots on the he back foot as well. Right. There's that overhand right there so when he leans back, when his left hand comes low. He's going to knock him out here, I think. Keep your hands up. Very Beck counter. is really in trouble. This is Ooh, the hardest the fight Beck's had from a, by a mile here. Yeah. It looks him. He's just throwing the punches. Oh, more that knee though. Very high. I hate that. Well, Charlie, they're quality, quality shots. Look, Beck's a tough player. Well. He's taking everything, and he's just standing there with his knees usually with a long knee. He's not seen that today. I think it's the range that Moxon's delivered here today, Charlie. The punches scare you from throwing a shot like that. You know you're going to be open for the punches. Listening back to this, I have a cold when you're watching. And you've got to tidy it up a little bit. Oh, good punches from both Lovely. fighters to start. Lovely. And Beck comes out hungry. He's undefeated, Charlie. Yeah, he's, he, you know, he's undefeated for a good reason as well. But like you say, Moxon's coming out strong and he's making it very uncomfortable and difficult for him. I think the range of Moxon has won in this fight by yeah. a long way so far. I just think going backwards like he started to in the last round, Going backwards gave him more space to hit as well. Yeah, it did. And that's exactly what I was saying. It would, be, it would have been nice for Carl Beck to just walk forward a little bit, just to shorten his range, maybe work that knee that you were talking about. Beck's throwing good knees now, though. He had a very really good, good knees. Beck had a really good control there in the clinch, and then he kind of just let it go, resting on the ropes. But he's throwing some great elbows there. His corner's getting excited now. This is, they know that Carl can fight like this, so... Yeah. That's why you're hearing them more animated in that corner. This is a better round from Cole Beck. Very much. Elbow over the top as well. Like we said earlier, the, the, with the elbow pads, you're not going to draw much blood. No, of course. But the fact that you're throwing them shows great intent. One day these guys want to step up to be A-class fighters, you know. They've already got the tools in the box. They're, they're ready to go. It's that experience, we said. All starts with the one and a half minute rounds. Oh, a couple of kicks found his way to Colbeck's knee there as well. Very sore for the shin. I was just about to say Moxham looked like he was just stepping off a little bit this round, but and now that's right hand back over strong. the top again. Beck can wear a punch though, can't he? He's rock yeah. hard this guy. Oh, yeah. He's rock eating. hard. Moxham's now going back to how he fought in the beginning, which is on the front foot, just drilling Beck back. 
And Beck was cracking under pressure earlier. He's not cracking under pressure no. now. He's getting stronger as the rounds get on. He is. Got round four coming up now. He's got a lot of catching up to do though. He might he has. Sometimes you can start too late, can't you? We said this earlier, but it all depends on how much Moxon's got inside him as well. Well, the money round just went for a little bit, right just now. to shorten his range. Maybe work that knee that we were Beck talking about. Beck that himself. Beck's throwing good, good knees strong. now, though. He had a very, very good, good knees. Beck had a really good control there, there in the clinch, and he kind of just let it go. Resting on the ropes. Tight on the inside when we are in this. But playing some great elbows there. His corner's getting excited now. They know that Cole can fight like this, so that's why you're hearing him more animated in that corner. This is a better round from Cole Beck. Very much. Get his confidence back up and know that he can. Elbow over the top as well. Andrew, like we said earlier, with the, the elbow pads, you're not going to draw much uh, blood. No, 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 in this fight. His range is a little bit cleaner. Up. Yeah. But all these, you just got to pump him up now, haven't you? Yeah. Because Beck is coming back into this fight now. Be Beck's just showing the heart, grit, and determination. Good yeah. knee from Beck and a good right hook afterwards as well. And uses the push kick to the leg to just keep Moxon at bay. Moxon now wearing shots and starting to eat punches. Good exchanges of kicks and Moxon goes down to the body. Good knees from both fighters in there. Moxon pushing Beck back there. Just looking a little bit stronger. He's, he's, he, he's looking a little bit more comfortable to watch Beck as well yeah. now. Hey, Ooh, still a little bit there. low against the hook. hook. Yeah. This is the problem. Cut, yeah. Carl Beck's got fantastic heart and he takes the shots, but you don't need to take the shots. Keep no. your hands up, keep them tight. Yep. His hands are far too low. Yeah. Yeah, it's easy to come over the top of those hands sometimes, isn't it? Especially with the reach of Moxon, and that's why he keeps getting caught. Yeah, he flings out that jab, doesn't he? Moxon now tracking him down again. A little bit inactive now, though. Before, he was a lot more lively when yeah. he got back where he wanted him. Catching his breath and then getting ready for a good exchange. Beck out of range to get that elbow through there. Beck's looking a little bit more tired now. His shots are being a little bit sloppy. His kicks are almost just throwing them. Yeah, Moxon's sloppy now. The shots made a good score to the body in there though. It's been a very active fight though. Four rounds of constant one two back and forth. These guys weighing in at 82.5 kilograms. They are not in the light category of fighting. They both look like they could go a little bit lighter. They do, don't they? Wow. Yeah. Speared the elbow there. He should have followed with his right elbow, you know. Yeah, he'd have caught him there. Love that. Both fighters were standing in front of each other, walking towards it, walking Good full through. round. Good full round. I think Beck needed to put a bit more space between them in the round. He had the jab, opportunity he? to really really put himself Moxon now tracking him down again a little bit inactive now though before he was a lot more lively when yeah, he got back where he wanted him catching his breath and then getting ready for a good exchange Beck, Beck out of range to get that elbow through there Reagan. Beck's looking a little bit more tired now his shots are being a little bit sloppy little his bit kicks sloppy in places the almost just throwing them both guys is there. My prediction yeah, Moxon's Charlie's sloppy is now. Go. The shots are good to the right body now. in there though. It's been a very active fight though. Yeah. Four He's rounds of kickoff. Constant one, two, back and forth. These guys weighing in at 82.5 kilograms. They are. You can ask more in the light category of fighters. No one's going to tell you a fighter. They're going to be disappointed if they lose, obviously, but nothing's worse if they don't give it their all. And that's what they'll be told to do now. And that's what they teach you in Thailand, right? Oh. He just ate, oh, ate a big kick there. Yeah, big massive kick. Shot. And I'll tell you what, he's shaking his head. I think he's done his ribs. It's all over. It is all over. Wow. I had Moxon ahead in the fight anyway, if I'm honest. But that kick there was pure power to the ribs. Just a simple, I believe it was like a one-two. Oh, big right oh, kick. Oh, oh, the shot's the shot so good to the right body right in there, though. It's been a very active fight, though. Yeah. Four it's rounds of kickoff. Constant one, two, back and forth. These guys weighing in at 82.5 kilograms. They are. We'll just wait for the replay just to check that. But oh, Lovely yeah, time a, kick. It really was. A lot of power in there. Shinbone went straight through his rib. The 
we're just waiting to see if we can make it. He's looking a little bit more tired now. His shots are being a little bit sloppy. His kicks in places. Almost just going up. Might be sloppy now. The shots are a bit scotch with body in there, though. It's been a very active fight, though. Four rounds of kick off. Constant one, two, back and forth. These guys weigh in at 82.5 kilograms. They are. You can ask more in the right category of fighters. No one's going to tell you a fighter. They're going to be disappointed. Maybe broke one of the bottom ones. It looked quite low. They hurt those ones yeah. as well. I've broken both my ribs on the lower on the, on the bottom, and they you never really recover from. I hate to be the Grim Reaper of good, good news, but <laughs> it's.